Assalamu alaikum. No wonder you have already heard or maybe learned at school about Earth's gravity. Basically, it's what keeps you on the ground, preventing you from being this, and also what makes things fall. Fair enough. But what will happen if we drop a cauliflower and an egg, which obviously have different masses, from the same height at the same time? Will the cauliflower hit the ground first? I guess there is one way to find out. Let's dive in. My name is Rami Husseini and I'm about to release both victims from a 4 meters height. 3, 2, 1, throw! The answer is no. Both objects hit the ground at exactly the same time. Well, why so? The unexpected result is explained by the fact that the acceleration due to Earth's gravity is independent of the mass of the object and it's mostly equal to 9.80 meters per second squared. And for those of you who think that the weight of heavier bodies is greater than that of lighter ones, let me tell you that you were right. However, this doesn't mean that they have to fall faster. Why? Because they have more inertia. This term describes the natural tendency of an object to resist change in its state of rest or motion. And what is more crucial is that the ratio of weight to inertia is the same for all objects. That's why the cauliflower and the egg accelerated at the same rate and landed at the same time. Good, things are getting clear now. Yet, there is an exception. The feather fell slower than the pan. Was Galileo wrong? Actually, not at all. What you have seen is the impact of air resistance. So in order to see the true nature of the free fall, there must be no air. This complicated criteria is set up by NASA in the world's largest vacuum, so you can admire the following hypnotizing video. So next time, just in case you couldn't get access to a similar mind-blowing chamber, ensure that the object is dense enough and the length of fall is small enough to make the effect of air resistance insignificant. Take care.